Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys how to build my automatic board farm, which is what you can see behind me now. This is a fully automated farm in that it automatically keeps on breeding them and then as soon as the boar turn into adults it also automatically kills them for us and then leaves the drops to accumulate. Because the way this farm is built, it works with the natural mob cap, so we will never have more than 5 boars in this farm, which in turn makes this a farm safe for server and multiplayer. Okay, let's have a quick look behind the scenes. So, at the top here we have our breeding pair of boars, and we just keep them fed, pretty standard, default setup here, nothing too special. At the back here we have our drop it heading down, and all of our little piggies end up here to live their happy little lives in this 2x4 block radius. As soon as our little piggies turn into adults, they are no longer so happy because then their hitbox increases, at which point they then start making contact with the smoke that we have at the top here. They then in turn start taking damage, which kills them for us of course, and then the drops fall here to accumulate for us to collect whenever we need them. The cycle then continues because the boar cap has then been reduced, so our breeding pair at the top then continues breeding and the cycle continues. Okay, right, let's build this, shall we? Alrighty, so go ahead and find yourself a nice flat stretch of land and then we'll start by building the foundation. Add some of these, one of those there, that's a 4 meter, 2 meter here, a 4 meter here, this is just the frame so I can kind of keep count of the flooring and whatnot and create some sp um, some snap points. Cool, that is that done, let's go ahead and fill out the flooring like so, and then we use these poles, just add them around here, just to give ourselves a little indicator really to follow. So it's four and then another two meter on top. Perfect. From here let's go ahead, add a wall here. We also add one here. And we add ourselves a temporarily smaller one here. And now let's add the slope. This is for our smoke, so we need to guide the smoke up there. It's basically what we're doing. Now we've got the angle, take some of these smaller fellas, pop them in there. And this is, basically this is virtually identical to my wolf breeder with just some minor changes in order to make it suitable for the boards as well. Then we have our floor, now from there we can go ahead and add these bits here. Like that, and... There, there, perfect. This needs to come out just a little bit. So we'll add these there. We can also go ahead and add this roof, well, this wall here. And then we'll add one of these here. There we go. Now then, let us do this. All the way up there. And the same here. Cool, just like that, and from here we simply add, let me have a quick look here, yeah, these guys here, we can remove these guys, so it looks like this, now I'm just going to add our little incline, so I'm using these 45 degrees uh, roof, like the shingle roof, you can use the other one as well, thatch if you want, pop them in there, Pop them in there. And sweet. From here you'll need some iron. We need the cage walls. And we a we add these cage walls here. <laughs> and then another layer on top. So yeah, you will need a bit of iron to do this, but this is the most expensive part, apart from the hanging brazier. Nice. And now we can fill in these walls here if we wish to do so. But I like keeping it open so I can kind of peer through there, really. So we'll do this and this. We can take this away. 
And now I want a snap point at the bottom here. So I'm going to add this guy here. And then I will add this one here. And then hang on, that's actually a bit too low. Let's try again. There we go. Another two meter one there. There. And just make it nice and flush. Another one there. Nice. Slowly getting there. Now I don't actually need this middle one. It's kind of in the way, to be honest. So you can take that away. And now we just complete this little roof section. Nice. So now this will funnel our smoke and it will collect here. Perfect. We can at this stage add our hanging brazier already. So this fella, we just go right in the middle here. As low as you can. Right there. And then we'll close this guy off. Like so. And then we'll add an angle to the roof here. For some style points really. <laughs> and we can just keep on fueling the fire to hit. Nice smoke pumping on through. That is lovely. Let me pop back up here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these now. Because... I don't really want them there. So like so. And you can get out of there as well. So we just have these beams, you know, main supporting beams in the corners where they just like it just fits better, I feel. Okay, now we add our actual floor. This is just the roof. Uh, but our boards will actually take damage. Boards will if they stand on here when you leave the area and you come back, they reload. They'll actually take damage from the smoke, so we then build our, our actual floor for them to stand on. Right on top there. And we go ahead, close this off like so. And now we extend this roof. Not roof, the floor. So, begins and then just a little bit further, like so. Okay. Close off the back here. Nice, and we can fill this up. Leaving space for a little door here. And nice, that looks cool. Just gonna add some beams here because it looks a bit unnatural and it always bugs me. And now to get them to clip at the bottom, just press Q up until it says snapping top. And then, boom, snaps at the bottom. If you struggle to get angles, it's a nice little trick to know. Okay, that looks all good for now. Now inside here, this is one of the one of the two key differences between this one and the Wolf Breeder. So, because their hitbox is ever so slightly smaller, build a second floor right on top of this one match it as close as you can so just kind of freehand it and match it right over this floor and then we snap it here and now we close this off perfect now that compensates for the small uh, hitbox size difference between the adult boars and the adult wolves so now the boars when they are adults will make contact with the smoke right so to make the inner enclosure here for the boars, we need it to clip right here. So you'll actually need to change these so that this one is a standard 2x2 two two wall. And then get the smaller ones, pop them in here. So the 1x1s, one one. So we need the clipping point there and the same on the other side. So one solid and one that is two small ones like so. So we're going to use this clipping point. Okay, so now at the wall, not exactly straight, give it one slight twist, so it's at this angle. Now move it there up until it clips right there. So it makes contact here, as opposed to there. Lovely stuff, let's do that again on the other end. So not straight, slight bend, and there we go, making contact right there. Now we simply use that. As a guide, it's another stepping point to build a normal straight one there. 
And there, if it will stop jumping around. There we go. And now we can break this out. Doesn't need to be there anymore. And we can close this off like so. To make sure. There we go. It doesn't stick out and be all weird like. That is perfect. Okay, so that is the perfect size for our boars. Now, for probably the hardest part of all this, is to lead them up here. Build yourself some stairs like so. This will be the easiest way to get them up here. And then you can either go ahead and push them up. You know, they are a bit fuzzy, so this is definitely going to be the hardest part of this whole operation. Or if you have yourself the Abyssal Harpoon, you can also use this. It will cause some damage to them, of course, so do be careful. But you can use this to harpoon them and pull them up there if you have friendly fire enabled. Otherwise, it won't work on your boars. So go ahead and do that. Shove them up here up until you have them up here. And then we'll pop them in there in a moment. Alright, so we should have both up here. Quickly go ahead and destroy this. Stop them from trying to run on down. And now we need to shove both of them in that corner. If they aren't impossible, which they very likely will be. Shove them in there and see if you can quickly... Nope. Ah, seal it off. Ah, gotcha. Whew. So yeah, this will definitely be the hardest part <laughs> of everything. Because they are a bit stubborn. Excellent. Now then, we just need to chuck them some food. So if you look at... If you stand right here. See what this small tile is. Right on here on the beginning of the second tile. You stand right here and then you aim in the middle here. We should be able to throw the first bunch right there for this one. And then the second bunch right there for this one. Gonna watch them and make sure they start chowing down. Excellent. Cool. There we go. Now let's pop the roof on. I like these guys, so shingle, otherwise you can just do any of the other ones. That is like 26 degrees either. And with the uh, the layout, with the dimension that we have here, it'll fit on these corners perfectly. He says. Another bit of 26 degree roof there. And there, and then once again. Just like in more video, I'm just going to add this little bit there to make it look a bit more natural. Lovely stuff. Now then, let me just add the stairs here. There. And there. And voila. Let's add the door lastly, and then this is basically all done. Am I blind? Where is this door? No, here it is. Cool. Door there. Perfect. And any moment, a little baby will pop on down here. And that is basically all this done. From here you can go ahead and decorate like you've seen in the first video, well at the beginning of the video rather. I've been using these guys, dark wood beams, but you know just go ahead, pick your own style and whatnot. The only thing you have to be careful here is in terms of decoration, don't go ahead and add any sort of a beam here. Not there, not here. So if you want to decorate, add some patterns, whatnot, feel free to go and add on these sides and that, or even down there. Don't do it here or here because that'll cause the little boar to get stuck there. And that'll basically, you know, bust the whole farm. So don't do that. Sweet. Okay, that is that done. And when we are done decorating, then it should look something like this. Alrighty, and we are all done. Fully automatic board form has been acquired. 
If you guys like this sort of thing, you know, farms and so on, I will be making more farms in the future. So if you guys like this sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe or stick around to see what else I get up to. <laughs> Apart from that, that is me, Zerger, saying have yourselves an awesome day and goodbye. <laughs> Cheers.